sorry about that.
It was the chance of a lifetime. But there was a problem. Only a strong shell could hold back Omega's might. And it could not be just anyone. You see, boy, the reason you were able to play such a perfect host for chaos was because my experiments had endowed you with a nearly indestructible body. Thanks to me, you are standing here today. <laughs> now, where was I? Ah, yes. I attempted to perfect my body for Omega by injecting myself with Genova cells. However, that didn't go as I had planned. I failed to consider the fact that the cells might try to take over my mind and eat away at my soul. And so, as a safety measure, I came up with a brilliant plan to transmit my neurodata across the worldwide network. After completing this, I realized I still required a durable body. And that's when I remembered Deep Ground, home to the most powerful beings on this planet. a willing assistant in the lab Nero here to help carry out my so-called rebirth. Though never did he expect I would take control of his beloved brother's mind. <laughs> and thus, with a new body, I began my final experiment. If the chaos within you was born of a tainted life stream, then the almighty Omega would be born of a pure one. So I had my minions gather up the uncontaminated to create a stream of refined mako, thus awakening Omega inside me. Genius, I tell you! <laughs> Pure genius! Pure genius! Only a scientist of my caliber is worthy to become one with Omega and leave this planet for the stars! Hojo. I've heard it enough. This isn't over. <laughs> so 
I began my journey anyway. 